Welcome back, Light. Now step forward and offer your Aradia so we can give time back to the world. Pray. As the world dies around me, I offer this blessing. Is this fruit from the light? With the power of Aradia, you have successfully extended the world's life. Come here and I'll explain. This is Yggdrasil, the Tree of Life. It's a holy tree and its life force is entwined with that of the world. Aradia gives Yggdrasil the power to grow. As the tree grows stronger, so too does the world. With enough Aradia, you can extend its life and push back the Day of Destruction. Up to 13 days, after which God awakens. So the more Aradia I can collect, the bigger that tree will grow. And the bigger the tree, the longer the world has before Doomsday. Light, do you understand your role now? You must lift the shackles that bind people's hearts and save their souls. The more souls you save, the more Aradia you can harvest. That is crucial because it means buying the world more time. Getting your bearings? Don't plan on losing. Not a bad victory.
Welcome. There are certain areas within Nova Chrysalia that I want you to focus on. Five locations where I'm picking up anomalous chaos readings. And I'm guessing one of those locations is right where Snow is. Yes, exactly. The palace in the city of Yusnan. There is another spot in the heart of Luxarian, the Holy City. One more in the scorching sands of the Dead Dunes. And finally, I've measured large chaos fluctuations at two locations in the Wildlands. Four regions, five locations. To be more precise, the goals are people, not places. For example, the chaos activity in and around Snow's palace is linked to him, and the darkness in his heart. It's the same kind of chaos that I'm picking up in the other four locations. And you want me to find these five people? They're your priority, yes. Those people have massive burdens on them. The fate of many rest on their shoulders, and that makes your task all the harder. Helping them will not be easy, even for God's handpicked savior. But I can help you. There's a hard truth we must face. There are thousands of people down in the world waiting to be saved, but you cannot help all of them. It's not possible. I've only got a handful of days. There just isn't enough time, right? This will sound cold, but you need to be efficient. Saving people who are suffering under the heaviest burdens will give you more Aradia, which is good for us. But the greater the burden, the more you might have to do before that soul can be saved. Sometimes, solving someone's problem might just take too long. You're saying I shouldn't waste time on helping the hard cases. I've got to pick and choose who gets saved. Of course it would be best if you could save everyone, but you can't. It's a numbers game, Light. The more souls you save, the more Aradia you can gather and offer to the tree. The time spent helping one person might be better spent saving the souls of ten others. Efficiency by volume, is that it? A numbers game, like you say, control costs and maximize profits. What is it that they say? Time is money. What is this? Hey, Savior! What's <sighs> going on? <laughs> you again? Right. Can you hear me? Uh, are you alright? Where are you? What's the problem? Equipment trouble? I'm out. I'm getting crazy readings. The coordinates made no sense. I can't pinpoint the <sighs> position. Hope, are you there? No, no, no. Hope can't hear you or see you. You're invisible. Do you know why? Because we're inside you. Spooky, huh? You mean inside my mind? Yeah, it's a safe place that God can't see. You could almost say it's like, oh, I don't know, an unseen realm. All right, if you say so. But that begs the question, what the hell are you doing in here? I have a name. It's Lumina, and I know a lot about you. <sighs> you need my advice, and in here we can talk about anything we want. Safe from prying eyes. Prying eyes? You mean hope? Yep. He might not realize it, but everything he learns gets passed straight on to God. What of it? I don't have any secrets to hide. Oh, right. You're the loyal servant, aren't you? You wouldn't dream of betraying him. And don't worry, okay? Even if I know otherwise, well, my lips are sealed. I have no reason to betray him. Right, right. That's very convincing. Keep those feelings hidden and play the loyal little servant. You want to be as cold as the steel in your sword. You do that, and then no one can guess what's inside. 
It's true, God can't see into human hearts. But he can read your face and tone, just like anyone else, and make his own guesses. Like I said, I don't have anything to hide. He's promised to bring Sarah back. I'm not gonna do anything that might cause him to change his mind. Why should I? Are you still in there, Lightning? Why are you afraid? Huh? Come on, think about it. We're inside your mind, don't you get it? If you can't be true to yourself here, where can you? I know you haven't changed, because you can't. Uh, what the hell are you? We're just particles, particles of dust, dust brushed from, from the palm, palm of a god. god. That's all we, we ever were. were. what it was. Uh, right. Uh, teleport complete. If we don't figure it out by tonight, another girl will be sacrificed. I don't want that on my conscience. You have to hurry. And stay alert for the Shadow Hunter. That girl. Hey, are you okay? Are you hurt? If only that were my problem. I would gladly take that over this. Tell me what's wrong. My father's fallen ill. It's bad. He might not make it. I came to the city looking for a remedy I'd heard about. It's sold out everywhere. You checked all the merchants? Well, I found one shop that could make what I needed, but only if I brought them the ingredients. If only it were that simple. But I don't have a guild to my name. I can't get my hands on them. <sighs> Are you willing to help me? Can you find what I need to save him? Really? You're going to help me save my father? That shop you mentioned, is it in the area? Yes, the Chocobo Emporium is well known in the commercial district. Another look-alike. But why are they killing innocents? Why don't they just come for me instead? They could be trying to force you into making a mistake. These girls are just a bait. Nintendo. Guess it comes to this. I saw this coming. <laughs> Maybe it is a trap. But I still have to do something. Another one will be killed tonight. I'm starting to think we should just take these Etro fanatics head on. I hate to say it, but I agree. And the best way to do that is to infiltrate their rights. You've got to find the code by tonight. Did you hear the terrible news? They found another girl's body out in the commercial district. The children of Etro are becoming more bold and violent.
I suppose they think they're out there. I saw a wall up there with some kind of strange writing on it. It was a number, I think. like that may be one down. Great. The first of the four numbers we need. You're not done yet, though. Keep looking. We need three more to assemble the complete code. <gasps> Strange. I thought I spotted someone following you, but my sensors show nothing. Could be our friend, the Shadow Hunter. Maybe he wanted to drop by and say hello. You've seen those people in the white robes, haven't you? They're part of a cult that worships the goddess Etro. This morning, I saw them heretics messing around near a wall up that way. You know what happened next? A glowing number appeared at that very spot. Don't know if it's some kind of signal or a special code, but... You know how girls keep getting killed? Bet you guild to gruel they're involved. a devout believer in God, and a dedicated member of the Order. I knew her when she was alive. She was a fixture in our neighborhood, always out on the streets, spreading the word of God. The victim was famous throughout the city. So devout was she, some believed she was the savior. She was killed because of her beliefs, I'm sure. There's no limit to the heretic's perfidy.
the morning people. Huh? We have two of the numbers. Halfway there. I've got to collect them by tonight and get into that ceremony. If I don't, another soul will be lost forever. Three numbers. One more number, and we've got ourselves a code. Hurry, Light. You just need to find one more number before the rites begin. Huh. What is it? I don't know. Felt like someone was watching me. Someone I know. <laughs> <laughs> 